Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you make this water droplets in Blender. I am using Blender 4.0 on a MacBook Pro, M1 chip, and 16 RAM. You can download my 3D soda can models I made, link in the description, but you can also create your own model and set your water droplets on that. So let's start with set up the blend file. So before we start, I want to say this tutorial is all inspired by CG Matter. I will link his channel in the description. So press A to select all, then press X to delete it. So if you are using my free 3D model soda can, I'll show you how to import that model. Go to the file and click on append, then find your downloaded file and click on that. Click on the object, select the middle soda can, and click on Append. Press Option plus G to center the object on the 3D cursor. Let's make a silver metallic material. Select your soda can and go to Shading. And like you see, in the downloaded Blend file, it's already a setup material there. So if you have that, you can skip this part. And if you want to just screenshot and make the material by your own, then pause and screenshot. And if you want to follow along step by step, continue to watch. Now let's set up the HDRI. So go to World. Click on this yellow dot and select the environment texture. Click on Open and choose you HDRI image. In the description, I linked the HDRI I used. So download that. So go to the render settings. Then change the render engine from EV to Cycles. And if you have a GPU device, go and change to that for better rendering. Also change the max samples on the viewport to 64 and change the noise threshold to 0.1 so you can render faster. Also change the max samples on the render to 300, then unfold the film. And check the transparent so we have the HDRI affected, but we can't see it in the viewport. Now back to the soda can silver material and click on new and rename it to soda can silver. Change the metallic to one. Now we are going to add some fingerprints and details to the can. Select principled BSDF and press Control plus T to enable the node wrangler. So this is how enable the node wrangler. Go to Edit, then Preference. Click Add On, then go to Search and type in Node Wrangler. Check the Node Wrangler, and here you go. Then plug the color to the roughness. Then plug the object into the vector on the noise texture. Then open the fingerprint I linked in description. The name of the file will look like this. And don't worry, we will fix the look of the soda can. Then add a color ramp and place it after the images. Press Shift plus Control plus Color Ramp and on the mapping. Change the scale to 0.1. Change from flat to box and change blend to 0.5. And then change the color space to non-color. Press Shift plus A to add a noise texture. Then press Shift plus Control plus the noise texture. And when you see this gray thing, you know you did this the correct way. Select the mapping. Then press Shift plus Control plus D to duplicate not only the node, but the settings too. Now plug the vector from the mapping into the vector on the noise texture and change the scale back to 1. And now on the noise texture, change the scale to 700. Change the detail to 0. Then press Shift plus Control plus the principled BSDF. Then add a bump node. Then plug the fact from noise texture into the height on the bump node. Then change the strength to 0.063. Then plug the normal into the normal. And here we have a silver metallic material. So go to the geometry node and click on new and then rename it to water droplets. And here on the modifier, you can see the geometry we added and then add a join geometry and place it between group input and group output. Then press shift plus A to add a distribute point on faces and place it between the group input and the join geometry. Now drag the geometry into the join geometry. Then add an instance on points and place it between distribute points on faces and group output. Now add a UV sphere mesh and plug the mesh into the instance and then change the radius to 0.06 and then add a transform and place it between the UV sphere and the instance on points. Then change the Z scale to 1.410. Now add a random value. Plug the value into the scale. Change the MN value to 0.5. Plug the rotation from distribute points on faces into rotation on instance on points. Then add a vector math and place it between the distribute points on faces and instance on points. Then on the first number type in PI2 or type in the numbers 1.571. And now we are going to select where on the soda can we want the water droplets to be. 
So to do that, on the group input, you can see an empty dot under the geometry dot. Click on the empty dot and drag that into the selection. And on the modifier settings, you can now see we have a selection section. Click on this thing over here, then go to data. Click on the plus button to add a vertex group and rename it to selection. Then hit the tab button to go to edit mode. So this is the tab button just right over the caps lock. And over here, press Z to change the shading mode. Then click on the wireframe. Then click on the face selected and select all over what you want the water droplets to be. Then click on Assign, then hit the Tab button again to go back to the Object mode. Now go back to the Modifiers, and like you see, we don't have any water droplets. So to fix that, click here. There is an empty spot and select the selection. And now check the droplets are what you want them to be. Now add a Realize instances and place it after the instance on points. And then add a Set Position and place it after the Realize instances. Now we are going to make the water droplets a little bit more realistic. So add a Noise Texture. Plug the color to the offset. And I know it looks kind of weird right now, but don't worry, we are going to fix it. So press Shift plus A to add another vector math and place it after the noise texture. Change from Add to Subtract, then change all numbers to 0.5. Select the vector math. Press Shift plus D to duplicate it and place it after the other vector math. But for this one, change some subtract to scale and change the scale to 0.1. And this is what that looks right now. Good. You can now see the droplets is not smooth at all. So to fix that, add Set Shade Smooth and place it right after the set position. And now see the water droplets is nice and smooth. And when we swift to render mode, you can now see the droplets doesn't have any material. So to fix that, press Shift plus A to add Set Material and place it right after the Set Shade Smooth. And we also need to set a material for the soda can in the Geometry node. So add another set material and place it between the group input and join the geometry. And like you see, the material disappeared. So on the top set material, click and change to soda can silver. Now for the water droplets material. Now open a new window by holding your pile here until this symbol pops up. Then drag it to the left and on the editor type, change that to shader editor. So I know this is a better way to do this, but I don't know how. So this is my way. Add any mesh and click on new and rename it to water droplets. So select the soda can and on the second set material, change that to the water droplets material. Also click here to pin the geometry. So when you select other object, the geometry is going to stay. Click here so the mesh doesn't render later. Select the principled BSDF and press X to delete it. Then press Shift plus A to add a glass shader. Then plug the BSDF to the surface. And then change the IOR to 1.33. Select the mesh, press H to hide. Right click and close the area. And here we have the water droplets material. Now time to make the small droplets. So go back to the geometry nodes. Now we are going to add another join geometry and place it right after the set position. So select the distribute points on faces. Press Shift plus D to do Duplicate, then drag the geometry into the mesh and change the density to 65. Then select the instances on points. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and plug the point to the points. Add another UV sphere, plug the mesh to the instance, and then change the radius to 0.03. Then plug the instances into the join geometry we just added. Then select the random value. Press Shift plus D to duplicate. Then plug the value into the scale, and then change the value min to 0, and drag the selection to the selection on the distribute point on faces 2. Okay, so I accidentally unplugged the geometry to the original join geometry, so it looks weird right now. Sorry for that. And this is what we have have right now. Now press Shift plus A to add a frame so we know what part of the geometry is what. Then select all of this nodes and place it in the frame. So press N to unhide this sidebar. And on the node selection, you can name the frame to whatever you like. Now we are going to make a section for the big droplets density. So in the sidebar, go from node to group and rename it to big droplets. Now we are going to make a section for the small droplets density and rename it to small droplets. And here on the modifier, you can now easy control the density of your big and small droplets. Now add another group input. 
Why are we doing this? Just because if you want to change the material, you can now change that easier from the modifier. Now we are going to add the materials to the modifier control. Press N to unhide the sidebar again. Rename the first one to Soda Can Material. And here you can see the material section. Then rename the second one to Droplet Material. So if you want to change the material, you can now change that easier. Now press Shift plus A to add a frame so we know what part of the geometry is what. Then select all of this nodes and place it in the frame. So press N to unhide this sidebar. And on the node selection, you can name the frame to whatever you like and rename it to small droplets. Now we are doing to make a seed section and then add a reroute and place it here and drag it to the other seed. Press N to unhide the sidebar again and then rename it to seed but with caps. Now when you change the seed, you can now see the seed change both small and big droplets and then add another realize instances and place it after the second instances on point node. Now we're going to make a scale section. So press N to unhide this sidebar. Rename it to small scale. Make the same for the big droplets and rename it to big scale. And let's see if that works and it seems to work good. And also make a section for the shade smooth. And this is what we have now and I think this looks really good. So now I'm going to show you how to save this geometry so you can drag this to other object in other project. So go back to the viewport. Click here to change the display mode and select the blend file. Then unfold the node group. Right click over the water droplets. Then click on mark as asset. Now let's see if it works. Press Shift plus A to add a cube. Open a new window by dragging like this or right click and select header and then vertical split. Then change the editor type to asset browser. Then click here to change it to the current file and the geometry should pop up. Drag the geometry and drop it on the cube. And it seems to work, that's good. Here we have created water droplets in Blender. And here is my results. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my tutorial. Comment down below what I can make in the next video and with the editing and all that thing. And feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and videos.